Hey guys, my goal today is to show you just really quickly how you can add a node to SolarWinds. Uh, so to do that, you go into settings, all settings, and then add a node. Um, there's also a network discovery that you can do here if you wanna add multiple nodes. Um, so let's take a look at what it's like to add just one node um, really quickly. So let's add our domain controller, which is uh, 210 here. So let's go back here. We'll add this. We're gonna add Windows nodes with WMI. Select our credential. In this case, it's gonna be the solarwinds.service. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a test. And let's see if this passes for us. Looks like the test was successful. Let's go ahead and add the node. It'll move me out of the way. And then let's just go ahead and click next. And you can see we're adding the node here. Um, and the next thing it's gonna do is try to discover some things about this node. What kind of network interfaces does it have? How many volumes does it have? Um, or applications. And so it's gonna discover all these things with uh, WMI. So let's give it a second to do that. And we'll let it do its thing. All right, so it discovered some things about the node. It discovered that we do have Active Directory running on it. It is a domain controller. It detected our physical and virtual memory as well as our hard disk, our adapter, asset inventory, and scheduled tasks. So all of these things I can monitor right off the bat. Um, for my purposes, I don't need to monitor scheduled tasks, but if you had a task that you wanted to keep track of, it would be a good thing to monitor um, I'm gonna go ahead and unselect virtual memory just because it's a VM. I know it's gonna run high um, and, and I'm okay with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click next. And it's gonna ask me if there's anything else that I wanna monitor on this node. And it gives me you know, just a bunch of different choices to choose from. Um, so if I come up here and I say, well, show me everything you can do. You know, I'm gonna get a giant list of stuff that it can do. In all honesty, I'm not compared or not worried about any of it. So I'm just going to inherit the credentials from the template and I'm going to go ahead and say next. And so this is just a quick confirmation, everything we know about the node. So this is DC01. Um, if you wanted to, you could add a description next to it. So we could say like uh, domain controller one, maybe it's uh, virtual. So whatever is gonna help you and your team understand what's going on with these nodes. And this node pulling every 120 seconds, that is uh, every two minutes, that, that's just way too often. Um, so let's go with uh, 720 seconds. Um, and we don't need to collect stats every 10 minutes. Let's change that to um, 60. Heck, we can actually change that to, let's say just, uh, twice a day would probably be um, a good amount. And so if we were to look at, at that, so let's go uh, 60 times 12. And that put us at 720. So um, same thing there. So um, let's, let's go like that. And let's just say, go ahead and add the node. And that's it. That is how you add a node to SolarWinds, one node. Um, if you want to add a bunch of nodes, I've got a related video on that. So go and check it out. Thanks.